on this computer. Okay. <laughs> Hello and welcome. This is me, Cindy, from Explore EFT, and I'm handing over to Corby. Hi, I'm Corby from Radiant Core Solutions. And today we have a very special guest here, our guest star, Nancy <laughs> Forrester from the National Emotional Freedom Techniques Training Institute, NEFTI for short. And we'd like to welcome you here today, Nancy. Thank you for taking time to talk with us. Oh gosh, I would talk to you and Cindy any time. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so what we want to talk about is our upcoming training that we've got in Calgary in March yes. 23rd, 24th, 25th. Yeah. And yeah. so I'd like to get, you know, your opinion on where tapping, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I tapped like 10 years ago or something. And, you know, where it's evolved to now, you know, and what's your, your, your opinion and process that's kind of evolved here? Yeah, oh, this is a huge question. And, and you, you got me just coming off doing a three-day Discover training in Toronto. So I am just on such a high because what happens over the course of those three days is absolutely amazing. So, uh, you know, excuse me if my sort of passion goes over the top. <laughs> I've been doing uh, EFT. I, I actually make a, a, a differential between what I call tapping and what I call EFT. Mm -hmm. Because the, the real challenge in this field and it, it's been here for a long time. So I, I came into this field of uh, EFT energy psychology about 20 years ago, and I was I was like a, a little island, probably the only one in Canada at that time who was actually in this. And the challenge was that Gary Craig, the founder of EFT, he understood that the uniqueness of this modality was not going to be readily accepted by the conventional organizations and so he chose literally chose to make this a grassroots movement mm -hmm. so he gave it to the grassroots and the grassroots had such positive experiences with it that they just started sharing and sharing and sharing and that's great but it has uh, led us to this point in time right now that there is a tremendous amount of confusion between what I call tapping and what I call EFT, emotional freedom techniques. Right. So, so to try to make this more understandable, tapping is really what you can get from the internet, right? And it's, mm -hmm. it, it's lovely. It's what I call self-regulation. And the first stage in, uh, in working on ourselves in any capacity, whether we're working on ourselves or we're facilitating working uh, for clients, with clients, the first stage is always to improve our ability to self-regulate, mm -hmm. to come from a place of stress, right, into a place of growth and maintenance and repair mode. And EFT is brilliant at that. It is something that all of us need to have whether we're parents uh, wanting to help regulate our children, whether we're teachers wanting to help regulate our classrooms, whether we're coaches, therapists, wellness practitioners, whatever roles we're playing, this is the first step. And, uh, and tapping is brilliant. And one of the things that we'll talk about at the Discover program is how do we use tapping very simply for mm -hmm. self-regulation. But that's about 10% of the iceberg here at what this modality is capable of doing, right? We truly are on the cutting edge of this ability to literally change the brain, change the body, and therefore change our experience of life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That takes professional level training. That goes beyond the internet that goes beyond what you can get from, from books uh, it, it's great it's wonderful but it's a beginning so when we are in the discover program we're going to go further on day one we'll look at self-regulation lots of tips and strategies and how to's really practical stuff around how we bring this into our own life into our families and then into the work that we do with others then in the second day we'll look at how we use emotional freedom techniques to find the past painful experiences that we've had in life and how they have been stored in our bodies and in our brains mm -hmm. and, and how they are still the residue 
the emotional energetic residue of those experiences is still impacting on our lives today right and now and, and i'll show you i'll show you the slinky <laughs> model the slinky model of human development <laughs> And, and how over time, when we don't resolve these past painful experiences, the energy and the flexibility and the resiliency of the slinky just eventually gets closed down and our experience of life becomes more and more contained and, and, and more and more troublesome. There just isn't, isn't life and joy in our experience of life anymore. Yeah. But that's what we do on day two. And then in day three, uh, and probably my favorite day of the whole training, we'll look at, well, then what do you do? So isn't this great? We've recaptured all of this energy that was stuck in ways that we didn't even logically understand. So we recapture all this energy, but now what are we going to do with it? Mm -hmm. So how can we use EFT then to actually focus this recaptured energy in the direction that we want it to go. So what is it that we uniquely want to create in our lives and how can we focus the energy toward that? So that's a, uh, that, well, that was a long answer to whatever your question was. <laughs> <laughs> totally forgotten. But. <laughs> yeah, but, and that, that's the whole thing. It's, it's like people think, oh, we're just tapping on the negative, but really it's oh, eliminating gosh. that, that, um, stress and then adding that hope and goals and joy for the future mm -hmm. oh, there's such there's such confusion i mean that when we talk about the evolution of eft and why it's changing uh why it changes anybody who adopts a consistent uh, eft process but it's also changing what we can do in terms of um moving the the stuck energies in our systems mm -hmm. and uh and, and so we get into this thing where we call these things negative well, they're not negative, they right. just are. Mm -hmm. And actually, when we say negative, so we say negative emotions, right? And you know, we mean shame and guilt and anxiety and uh, frustration, irritation, all of those things. Well, those are not negative emotions. What they are is actually a negative energy polarity. You know what I mean? You know how you've got a battery and there's a negative end and there's a positive end? Well, that's what we're talking about when we say negative and positive. It's not a judgment or an evaluation. It's an energetic term. Mm -hmm. And so I think people find it more understandable if, if we drop this idea of negative and instead we say, for the first time ever, we have a modality where we can tell the truth. Mm. Oh, that's a good idea. Right, where we can say, yeah. this is what I am experiencing right now in this moment. And we can go there because we finally have a way that we can calm and regulate the biology of the body as we're having that particular experience. Mm -hmm. That's right. So we're not even, um, you don't have to re-traumatize yourself to get back into this. Yeah. yeah. Well, up until now, and boy, nothing against what we've had before. This is an evolution, right? In mm -hmm. the same way, if I had to go back to dial up internet now, that would be very, <laughs> you know, as a psychotherapist, if I simply had the conventional talk therapy modalities available to me now, I would be very, very frustrated. Mm -hmm. But it's the best that we knew. We've evolved beyond that now. So that we, we have ways that we literally can integrate the, the cognitive, the ways that we think, with the ways that we feel, with what we're sensing in our bodies, along with the behaviors that we have. We can integrate all of that. And I think that's one of the reasons that makes EFT so powerful, mm -hmm. is because it's a, it's a bigger package than we've ever had. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I love it because it, it helps you get the explanation about the patterns that you've developed. And some patterns are, are great, great habits and stuff, but there's some that just don't work for you. Yeah. And so having the tool like tapping to change that, transform that for you is mm -hmm. really a beautiful gift to have. Mm -hmm. And it just happens uh, 
you know, it's not a magic pill. Like I am yeah. the last person in the world who's ever going to say, you know, there's this thing in the, in the tapping world, right? The internet tapping world. It's still there from this original grassroots movement I was talking about that tapping is this one minute wonder. Mm. And it's not, I mean, there mm. are sometimes we, often we get awesome, miraculous results, mm -hmm. but that literally comes from a really consistent and persistent uh, diligent <laughs> EMP routine, and then all of a sudden it's like, wrong, you know, yeah. things change. Uh, but this is not uh, this is not magic pill time. Mm -hmm. This this is science. This is research. You know, one of the you asked me the evolution question, and one of the big changes in this field. It, Twenty years ago, when I went to my first EFT workshop there was no science, there was no research, there was nothing. And it was so weird and woo woo. It's like, oh, please get me out of here. It's like, I'm a scientist, I'm an academic, I live for research and science and you want me to be tapping on acupressure points? It's like, I can't do that. So it, it was tough to reconcile the profound personal experience I had yeah. in that workshop with the lack of research and science. Now. Mm -hmm. 20 years later, that problem doesn't exist anymore. Their uh, EFT is in the top 10% of all modalities in terms of how much research and science uh, supports it, uh, supported by the American Psychological Association, the International Coaching Federation, uh, shown, shown to be effective in terms of uh, anxiety issues, depression issues, physical pain, uh, chronic disease, peak performance, and on and on. And that's because it allows us to interrupt the stress response. Mm -hmm. So right when we can move the body out of stress, the, the body knows how to heal. The body knows where, uh, where it wants to go. So we, uh, we just interrupt the stress response and, and then we see what happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's great to have that explanation because uh, uh, everybody can identify with fight, flight, or freeze, and it, and it's one of those okay. So when something happens, how do you react? Well, I want to I want to run. Well, this is something that we can calm your nervous system with, so that you can have clear thinking and move in a direction that you want to. Yeah, lovely, Cindy. That's what I always say is. You know, why, why do we want to do EFT tapping? N number one, we want to feel better. Yes. But number two, we want to think more clearly. Right. And then number three, did I say number three? Number one, three? Okay. Yep. No, you did number, just... number one, we want to feel better. Number <laughs> three, we want to think more clearly. And number three, we want to act more powerfully. Mm -hmm. You know, we're, we're, we've coming, coming out of human evolution where all we knew to do with emotions was to try to hide them, to resist them, to suppress them, to, uh, to avoid them, to just pretend that they're not there. Well, we can't. Human mm -hmm. beings are emotional beings. The emotions are there all the time. But EFT gives us a way to actually be with those emotions in a way that they pass through us and then inform us about the kind of inspired action uh, that is possible for us to take. So mm -hmm. we feel better, we think more clearly, we act more powerfully, and then ultimately we can create the lives that we desire. Yes. Yeah, and I think that's key because so many people can't even think about that life that they desire because it's, it's too foreign, you it's know, exactly so this, this allows that to happen. Uh, it's yeah. it's just beautiful. The two of you know because you do this work with people all the time, yeah. as do I. But it's it's just beautiful to see mm -hmm. people come out of that kind of suffering and and start to put their energy toward you know in the direction of what they want to create and what they mm -hmm. want to build. You yeah. know, I I love uh, I love seeing families integrate this work. Uh, just simple things like you know, routines. Uh, we were talking on the weekend with one woman who brings this into her dinner table. And she has, you know, a couple of children, all different ages. But one of the things they do before they start to eat is that they do a very simple uh, EFT routine to really just calm all of the nervous system so that they can actually connect better mm -hmm. around the dinner table and wow. share. Is, is that not amazing? Like, That's I, incredible, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I am just super excited about what the two of you are creating in Calgary. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm I'm so excited that I'm coming out and yes. uh, spending my time with with you and the lucky people that get to come to our Discover training. Exactly, yes, and we so appreciate your time and just just having the honor of having you um, work, you know, with these people here because um, you know everybody's in for such a treat and just a, a life changing um, experience, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, on whatever so level they're at. Yeah, I think for, you know people maybe find it difficult to uh, understand it because it we're supposed to be so serious, right? We're talking about past painful experiences and self-regulation and it's supposed yeah. to be so heavy duty, but it's really amazing just how much laughter and fun there is. Mm-hmm. In the exactly. Yeah. 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 That's why I think when people hear like, oh, this self-work and self-whatever, that fear response <laughs> automatically comes up. <laughs> exactly. you said, this is so gentle. You don't need to worry about that. We'll, we'll, yeah. We've got you covered. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, there's definitely lots of song and laughter going on all throughout the uh, event. So, yeah. Yes. And movement. We move too. Movement. (laughs) Yes. Movement. Uh, (laughs) Well, thank you, Nancy. We sure uh, appreciate your time. And uh, we look forward to seeing you in a few weeks here. It's going to go by very quickly. Absolutely. Yes. All right. Well, thanks so much. Thank you, Cindy. Thanks. Good to see you, girls. Okay. All the best. All the best. (laughs) Bye. Bye for now.